Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox, and today I have my first ever video that's not a DIY on this channel. This is going to be a home decor haul, and I used to do these on my old channel, which is definitely like home related, and this is my new home channel, you know? A majority of it's from Target because their new collection is in like an app. I'm. I'm I'm speechless, like I'm just speechless. And I'm also super excited because this video is actually in partnership with ShopTagger, which I have done multiple videos on my actual main account with ShopTagger before because I just love their service that they offer. And if you do not know what ShopTagger is, it is essentially a website and also a mobile app. You basically create an account on their site. It's super easy and free to sign up once you create an account, which I'll also have linked in the description box below so you can take a look there. After you have an account and you're just randomly online shopping, you're going to have a little widget in the top of your toolbar. And whenever you're shopping online and you find an item that you love, like, but it might be too expensive or you're not really sure about it or you just want to save it in general you could actually add it to your shop tagger account it will notify you when that item goes on sale and another thing that I also love is that it notifies you if items come back in stock so if something's out of stock on the site but you want it you can add it to your shop tagger and it will notify you when that item is back in stock I love the fact that you would also get it an app version because it sends you push notifications when items go on sale which is amazing because I personally use it mainly for a lot of fashion items but I'm gonna start doing home stuff I have personally bought multiple YSL pieces which is one of my favorite designers on ShopTagger at such an affordable price. Like, I got a pair of $900 boots on sale for like $350, almost $400, which is like 60% off, and YSL pieces typically don't go on sale that often, so that was really amazing. But I want to get into the home decor because I got so many new pieces that I'm so excited to start putting in my room because I'm kind of um, just altering a couple things. It's been the same since I've moved in, and I just did an apartment tour on my main channel if you didn't see that, and I just want to change it up a little bit, so I got a couple new pieces, but the first item is this amazing pillow and I love pillows that are like shapes differently than just a square pillow so I think adding a circle pillow to like a mixture of squares just breaks it up a little bit so I got this one at Target this one was a little bit expensive it's $26.99 but it is velvet it does like have a lot of detail it's tufted all around the edges and then it's also pleated all around here and I think it looks like one of those vintage inspired pillows that you've seen in like the 70s so I picked this up just to like throw on my bed or I might even put it on my bench or something next up is in, oh, saw this this is just like from their main collection I believe this costed $19.99 from their Project 62 line, but I loved the graphic high. So I thought this would look nice on my bed as well. I love how it was black with a really uh, large high on it. And I love this font as well. I thought it was nice. It's embroidered around the edges. Thought that instead of just having patterned pillows, I would have one that sort of had like a quirky element to it. And this high one seemed perfect for that. And then last pillow, I couldn't pass this one up. It was so soft, so cushiony, so fluffy, and like just, I don't know, I loved it. It is another black and white one. Wow, I really went in with the black and white, but I do have a lot of colored pillows on my bed right now. I just really love the pattern on it. It's black and then white. And then the back side is actually reversed of that, so it's white with the black on it. So it's pretty simple, but I thought it has a nice bold touch to any um, space that you have in your house. And I also love the size of it. It's like one of those Euro sized pillows. It's like probably a 26 by 26. Wow, I just want I want to show you guys this so badly because I thought first of all I picked this up without getting the price of it because I was just so obsessed with it I didn't even care it is a stool and I know it's probably gonna be hard to see on camera but I will show you guys an actual little cutaway of it I thought that this would look so incredible with a plant on top of it and I loved this um, like raton vibe of it I don't know what it was the black legs are super cool but this was only $55 I think which I think is really a great price for something like this it has a lot of interesting details to it and it's probably handmade as well which is also a nice little touch a couple little knickknacks I got was first this one here this was $16 and it's a little like marble with tiny little bits of like something just pressed into the surface but it's like a, a very heavy style kind of catch-all I guess you could say you can just put this by your door throw your keys in it whatever it was I just like that it was white and clean and fresh so I'm gonna probably put this in my bathroom and just like put my rings and jewelry on top of it I did get something at the thrift store today too we stopped by because it's right by Target actually and this was just a dollar 99 and it's this tiny little green bowl and I just thought it was so pretty I love like colored china like this in the future I want a shelf in my kitchen that has rainbow colored pieces of glassware because I think that colored glassware is just so pretty especially when it's in this kind of format I don't exactly know what this is it's like that crystal-esque vibe and I just love this olive green color it's always just nice to have things like this and it, for two dollars like I was not gonna pass this up I kind of got a similar one actually right before at Target this is a dessert bowl from hearth and hand which I just love the whole magnolia range there and I was so obsessed with this I thought it was super cute I definitely would like to use this as a dessert bowl but I'm probably gonna use it again as another catch-all I don't really Oh, melt glass as well is a huge favorite of mine, so. <coughs> uh, oh! Ah! 
I thought this was really nice. I'm probably saying really nice, take a shot when Drew says really nice, take a shot when Drew says self-explanatory, take a shot when Drew says, I don't know, beautiful, good, fresh, lovely, anything like that, just do it. Next up is a picture frame, and this is again from Target. Uh, this was $14 from the Opal House range, and I loved it. I love the leopard on the top, I love the gold, it's very Gucci inspired. I'm also completely obsessed with brass, it's my favorite metal for home decor. Staying with the theme of brass, I got this bookend, because I do need a bookend for one side of the books that I have on the shelf in my room. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it other than I'm gonna put my books against it. I got this vase and I put some flowers in it. These are Nastasha's flowers, but I put them in it for the little, um, just to show you guys how pretty it would look. I love this vase. It's just a ceramic vase. It was $14.99. I believe it's also from the Opal House collection. It has this really pretty splatter technique on it, and it also has these, like, scallops that sort of cascade down and give it a nice little bit of texture to it. And I thought it was a really nice height as well to put, like, flowers in or to put really anything in or just leave it as a standalone piece, like, next to my TV console. I forgot to share with you guys this, too. I got this at the, um, thrift store, too. This is just a picture frame. It was $12, which is kind of expensive, but I love the detail on the actual frame, and I'm gonna probably spray paint it either brass or black or white and just give it a whole new look. This is very, like, vintage and distressed, and I don't exactly like it, and the picture inside's kind of spooky. And we're moving down to just the last couple of items. Me and Nastasha saw this basket online, and we, like, freaked out when we saw it because it's freaking $25, and it looks like this. I have one from CB2 that was $100, and it looks exactly like this, and I think I like this one even more. And I wish I was able to macrame something like this, but if it's $25, I'm just gonna freaking buy it because who can make this for $25 and spend the time to do that? They have this in the natural color, and they also have it in black. And last but not least, just two random items. I got a new sheet set. This is the Cotton Percal sheet set, which I love the Percal sets from Target. They're my favorite ones. And this one's just super pretty because it has these tiny little, almost looks like dividing signs on it, lines and dots, and then it has an embroidery crosshatch thingy at the top of it. Imagine these together. Yes, love that. And I also got just one towel for my bathroom because I just love having a mix match of towels, so I thought that this would look super pretty hanging on one. I love the tassels on the end, and I also just love this geometric pattern on it. So guys, that was my home decor haul. I hope you did enjoy this video. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more. I'm not sure exactly how interested you are in me doing home decor hauls, but I thought I would just test it out. So definitely let me know in the comment section and thumbs up this video if you liked it. Don't forget to also check out Shop Tagger below, and I can't wait to put these in my room. Maybe I'll post a photo on my um, Instagram with the new stuff in my room once I do have it down. Again, everything I did feature in this video Video is going to be linked in the description box below and you can take a look at those and then add them to your shop tag or whatever you want to do but i will catch you on my next one thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day bye guys